What's up guys, it's Taylor Timothy and today we're gonna to be talking about my YouTube marketing process. So just a little tip and trick, you will find a link in the description that you can download an entire checklist that I'm about to go through and you can just follow along. Let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So guys, as far as the YouTube marketing process goes, one of the first things that you need to do is create a custom icon cover. So basically you need to just make sure this headline is very clear and to the point about what's going on in your business and the products and service you offer. The next thing you need to do is attach your website to your YouTube channel. Now what this is gonna do once you have a thousand subscribers, it's gonna give you the opportunity to create what's called YouTube cards, just like this one. They pop up and you give them a free offer that drives them back to your website. The whole goal of social media across the board is to get them back to your website. So the other thing that you need to do as well though is create your social media links and add them to your channel as well. The next thing you need to do is link your channel to Google Analytics and Google Paid Ads. This is gonna help you track all the traffic you're driving from your channel to your website. And on top of that, with Google Paid Ads, it's gonna let you run YouTube ads in the future when you're ready to start doing this. The next thing you're gonna do is upload all of your videos to your channel. Now, I don't recommend just uploading them all and pressing publish. I would start scheduling your videos right away. And then on top of that, start creating a schedule and create a content list that you can start creating more content and continue to upload to YouTube on a consistent basis. The next thing you need to do is upload and install the Google Analytics code inside of your website. Again, guys, this is just gonna help you track all of the traffic you're driving from your channel to your website and see how well it's converting. Then you're gonna dive into Google Paid Ads and you are gonna start creating what's called remarketing lists. So it's gonna give you the opportunity to remarket to people that have come to your website or watched any of your YouTube videos and you can deliver a message back to them over on the YouTube platform. The next thing you need to do is just reach out to all of your friends and family and get them to subscribe to your channel. Now, the more subscribers that you have, the more likely your channel is gonna start boosting and going up. So the next thing you need to do is go back through your videos or go into your videos and create a description for your videos. This is gonna help rank your video. So a little tip and trick that you can do for your descriptions, you can get your videos transcribed and you can just copy and paste that description. Trust me guys, this works. The next thing you need to do is optimize your title and description with the keywords that you are going after. So if you're going after a specific title, that title needs to relate to the video as well. So if you're creating a video about carpet cleaning and you're trying to rank your video for carpet cleaning, well then the video needs to be about carpet cleaning. The next thing you need to do if you have a thousand subscribers, you need to go in there and create cards for all of your videos and drive them back to your website with these offers. The next thing you need to do is create playlists for your specific keywords you're going after. So if you're going again after carpet cleaning, you need a playlist called carpet cleaning. So once you have done all of this, again, go out there and share those videos across all of your social media platforms. This again is going to help your videos rank. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is YouTube ads. So there's four different audiences that you can go after with YouTube ads. One is remarketing, two is topics, three is interests. So the first thing you're gonna do is create in-stream ads for remarketing, topics, and interests. So basically these are different audiences that you can go out there and target specifically based on those types of interests. The next thing you need to do is some keyword research. So as far as keyword research goes, it's a different audience that you can go out there and target, but you need to figure out what types of search terms your audience will be searching for when they're over on YouTube. This will help you, again, deliver an ad up to them on these specific keywords. So you need to go out there and do lots of research and not just waste a ton of money on broad keywords. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over on YouTube and you're gonna type in these searches. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first 10 videos off of each search 
copy their URLs and paste them over in a spreadsheet. This is now gonna allow you to run ads on top of these videos before their video actually plays. If they allow ads on their videos. So if you guys have some big budgets, basically you're gonna go out there and create topic-based interests as far as these go. So you can actually spend a lot of money really quick on these broad, broad audiences. But I mean, if you guys got the budget, you got the pockets for it, then go ahead and run topics. The same thing is about to be said with interest-based audiences as well. So interest-based, basically Google's making assumptions on their interests and their likes and things like that. So yes, you can deliver ads to these people, but again, you could spend lots of money really fast. Last but not least, you're gonna do remarketing. Remarketing is one of the most powerful tools that you can do with YouTube ads, and you're gonna go out there and you're gonna set up your remarketing ads and remarket to people that have seen your videos and come to your website. These are the hottest people that you can start converting into buyers. The next thing you need to do is just make sure, guys, that all of your tracking is set up properly. So when you're driving this traffic back to your website, make sure that you know that it's actually tracking them. If they download a lead form or if they fill out a form or if they buy their product, you just need to make sure that your tracking's in place so you know if your strategy is actually working. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or post any questions in the comments below. If you guys feel like I missed something, again, post them in the comments below. I'd love to chat about it. Other than that, guys, don't forget to go over and check out my online marketing master course that will teach you guys how to run YouTube ads from start to finish and start generating more leads and sales for your business or potentially your clients. There's more to this course. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. It also will teach you guys how to build websites from start to finish, Facebook ads from start to finish, and much, much more. So go over it and check it out. Other than that, peace.